Olá, sejam bem-vindos a mais um novo uh, live Q&A. Uh, desta vez vai ser com o Kurt Simmons e este live, portanto, vai ser em inglês devido ao facto de ele ser suíço. Um, e podem, podem deixar as perguntas na mesma aqui debaixo, que depois eu traduzo para perguntar ao Kurt Simmons. Aproveito já para agradecer a todos que compraram os CDs do, dos shows do CTW. Aproveito também para dizerem que podem continuar e passar no, em ctwportugal.com e comprar os vossos DVDs, escolher os, os shows que querem, inclusive t-shirts uh, e toalhas. Deixem lá uh, a vossa order portanto, e passem também nos, uh, nas redes sociais do CTW, tal como dos seus lutadores. E façam também encomendas dos, do merch dos lutadores. Vamos só então convidar o Kurt a uh, este live que mandei. Vamos só à espera. Hello, Kurt! I'm not listening uh, so good. Yeah, barely. Can you put some he earphones or please? Can I give a try like that? Oh, yes. That's so much better now. <laughs> yeah, my my uh, headphones don't have a mic going on anyway. Thanks for having me. It's a pleasure to see you again. Yeah, you too. Thanks for uh, being here with us today for this live Q&A. Yeah, I'm just uh, really happy to give something back to the great fan of CTW. So. <laughs> Thank you. Look, I've seen you cut your hair. Why do you do that? Yeah, on the side. Um, quarantine got me crazy like everybody. So. <laughs> <laughs> no, I want to try something different and it's not a big difference. So I'm like, mm -hmm. at least I don't have my hairs anymore. And so we will see next time I wrestle with that, that style. But. I like with the braids. The braids on top. Yeah, it was pretty fun. I, I braided it sometimes, and I'm like, okay, everybody's gonna compare me to a Viking, so why not? Uh, <laughs> why <it's> not? Different. <laughs> yeah, uh, I see uh, that sometimes you do this segment with the, with your adventures around the world. What's your favorite <laughs> story so far? Uh, there is so many. I think I love them all the same because the one I told are are my favorite, and I haven't told ev everything yet, so I've got plenty others coming. I just need to remember because there is always something happen on the road. So I'm like, I think if it's worth a share and people are gonna enjoy it, I'm gonna yeah. I'm gonna tell it. Look, David Curl says hi. Hello, Dave. Hello, Dave. I hope you're all right and you found some coffee. <laughs> he likes his coffee. <laughs> oh yeah, need more coffee all the time. Yeah. So, are you ready for this live Q and A? Yeah. Let me just. I'm gonna maybe switch side on my other chair because I don't like the lighting here. So. Yeah. Yeah. Of course. Please. Oh yeah. Much better. <laughs> so my let's get started. Yeah. So first question: What was your first match? From Riley Conlon. Yeah, Riley's a good lad from uh, from Belfast, I think, or Dublin, from Ireland, but I'm not sure which city. Uh, my first match, oh gosh, it was um, 2010. Yeah, 2010. End of 2010 in France. Uh, I didn't start in Switzerland. Uh, my first match was in northern France for for um, ABC. Uh, which is a really, really old, old uh, federation. They, they've been created in like something. And um, I knew a few days in advance, okay, this is going to be a first match. Uh, it's going to be a tag team, so we can take care uh, uh, if you if you to stress to wrestle or anything. Mm -hmm. It's going to be all right. And when we arrive at the show, uh, the promoter is like, oh, I changed the card because uh, we already have too many tag teams. So can you do a single? Oh boy, okay, and I yeah. just had a, a match against the guy I was supposed to be in the tag team against, so we were still uh, ready to wrestle, and uh, it was a pretty decent one. I, I think for my first match, it was not the worst, so I was yeah. pretty happy with it. But yeah, friends, friends, uh, 10 that's years fun. ago. Oh, that's, that was a long time ago. Yeah, yeah, I've, 
I've been playing this game for a long time now, I realize. <laughs> it's been really fast these past 10 years. So. Yeah, I believe so. With great experiences, I believe. Yeah, um, uh, it's nothing. It's something you, you, you just can't buy. The, the thing you learn on the road, racing different country, different style, different people. Um, it was pretty slow at the beginning because I was traveling a lot. But mm -hmm. I was always racing in a different country. But only like once every three months or four months. So I had not a lot of matches. Yeah. And then after three or four years, I started racing more. Mm -hmm. but travel a little bit less so it was a different kind of experience as well to know if you're gonna have to wrestle like five times this week you're gonna have to wrestle differently than oh i can take three months off i'm okay yeah. uh next question is from david curl and he asks how many years have you been wrestling and when did you start doing shows for ctw so yeah, like, like we said, 10, ten years, years yeah. uh, 10 years now. Um, and uh, my first uh, match for CTW was uh, Incident International, the first one, mm -hmm. 2018 already. So it was like two years ago. Uh, I was in a tag team, I think. It was a three versus three or maybe four versus four. Uh, really fun match. Uh, there is a lot of pressure on the, on, in the ring, so a lot of stuff going on. Um, it was an amazing show, though. and you should get the DVDs. <laughs> yeah, they the should, match. they should. <laughs> the, the DVDs are available, and I haven't seen the, that match again. Uh, I would love to, because I had some nice chemistry with one of the English guys, and uh, I should check out the DVD. For the Portuguese uh, watch now, the, uh, the shipping is free, so yeah, yeah. Check some uh, local business and get yourself <laughs> some great wrestling. <laughs> Thank you <laughs> for doing this promotion. <laughs> no, that's all right. I, I just, I mean, I'm on the show, so of course it's a great wrestling. But uh, <laughs> it, it, a lot of people always ask, how do you support wrestling? Or I want yeah. to do something local. I don't know where to find it. Just ask because you're gonna, everybody's gonna know someone who knows someone, and that's the best way to to show you, you love uh, local stuff. And if, yeah, and spread the word. if you can't make it to a show, or if we don't know when is the next show, the best way to keep showing love to, to CTW is to get some merch. That's really easy. Yeah, that's the best way to support uh, independent wrestling. Yeah, and spread the word. Some Someone yeah. will like wrestling. Someone might be interested in, in uh, on watching these shows. And it, mm -hmm. there are great shows and matches. Yeah. So... Um, next question. <laughs> Let's pass to another question. Question. This is from Art in Wrestling, uh, and the question is: Steel Panther or n non War of Steel? <laughs> uh, good reference. Um, I would. I, I have to go with Steel Panther. I, I love uh, Nano War of Steel, but some of their stuff are a little bit too much over the top for me. Uh, it, it's just all over the place and Steel Panther has their stuff, their style and their theme and I've seen them live as well so it, it, I will go with, with Steel Panther. Ah, okay. I, I believe you're a fan of concerts, a concert fan, right? Yeah, I, I've been to plenty like, I, I think last year I, I did more concerts than I did the rest of my life, it was crazy. And I had already three or four aligned for this year, and all of them are cancelled. I'm like really sad. Yeah. I was supposed to see the Dead South, which is a country bluegrass in my city, uh, the next month, and they just report it next year, so I'm going to have to wait for that. Yeah, we probably have to wait a year for all the concerts. Yeah, all apparently every, concerts. Yeah, yeah. Uh, every live event. It makes sense. I mean, I understand it's for safety, so... Better safe than sorry, but it's still like I would have loved to, to see them again. It's just changed my mind, yeah, you know. And that, it's still gonna happen, but we oh, have yeah, to definitely. wait a little bit I, longer. I, I, I talk to my family as well, it's like, I'd rather ha have to wait one year than just everything cancel and I cannot see them. So, it's gonna be for later. Yeah. Look, Mike Silva says, hi King, come back soon. 
<laughs> I would love to, Mike. Uh, thank you very much. As soon as it's possible, you know, um, the situation in Switzerland is actually getting a little bit better. We just start to reopen some stuff, but not everything. So the next two or three months will be really decisive. And I'm still on the wait list for, for my travel stuff. So uh, I just want everybody to be safe, first of all. And as we get rid of this bad memory, I created some great, great ones. So I will be back as soon as possible. Yeah. Oh, it's from a friend of ours, Andy Hendrix. Yeah, I've seen. <laughs> and he ha asks, "How relieved were you when the last show got cancelled? When you realized it, it may." Andy, Andy, I like your style. You remind <laughs> me, you remind me of me a few years ago when I was a shithead as well. Andy, yeah, you just don't realize that just because you don't know me doesn't mean I cannot kick your ass because I've got way more experience than you. You, you great wrestler, you're an amazing wrestler, but you know Kurt Simons. You are not Kurt Simons, and. The triple threat was the perfect opportunity to share the ring again with my friend Super Kid, or SPKD, sorry. <laughs> Elton is an amazing wrestler. I would have loved to share the ring with him again. And I think we could have put wrestling on the side a little bit just to get rid of you first, Andy. Because just because I don't get into your business doesn't mean I don't see what's happened. And I will never forget what you did to Mario. I'm oh, gonna yeah. get my answer to you. And then we can talk. And then I will talk. You will not be able to talk anymore. So see you very soon, Andy. That was That's a great answer. answer. And I agree with you. Like the, the thing I did to Mario was not good. Was not it's good. Not, it has nothing to do with wrestling. It was just to piss off Radio. Yeah. And it was a really bad move. Mm -hmm. And the person who helped him, he just turned yeah. their, his back. Oh, that That's not good. I didn't like it. So, next question is from Matt McGee. And he asks, what's your favorite memory from wrestling? Oh, Matt, a, gr a great lad from England. So, um, wow. Uh, my favorite... Uh, I, I don't think I've got one in particular. I mean, all the travel, every time I've got fun in or outside of the ring, but just in general, probably all the amazing people and friends I made along the way. It's a little bit cheesy, but that's the truth. My favorite thing from wrestling is the people I met along the way. Yeah. Yeah. I can say from my side, I'm not, I'm not a traveler as you are, and I don't wrestle, but the people who come here who come here to wrestle and I meet I I really enjoy it. There are a lot of great people uh, with great hearts, including you, of course. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, let me just uh, promote again CTW. Uh, guys, if you just joined this live Q and A, please let um, your uh, uh, your questions <laughs> below so I can ask uh, Kurt. Uh, Hello, and first of all. Second of all, you're late, but that's all right. <laughs> and third of all, if you want to show some love to people with great heart, get some merch. Yeah, and, uh, and visit our wrestlers' uh, social media to buy their merch and support uh, indie wrestling, independent wrestling, and uh, wrestling in general, and our wrestlers. It's very important. Uh, pessoal, se chegaram agora, deixem as vossas, perguntas, as vossas perguntas aqui em baixo, que eu depois faço a tradução para o Kurt, ou se quiserem uh, deixar já em inglês, passem também a ctwportugal.com, comprem os DVDs, as toalhas, as t-shirts, passem também nas redes sociais dos lutadores e encomendem a, vossa, a merch deles, 
para que possam apoiar tanto os wrestlers como o wrestling independente e também o CTW. Uh, next question, Kurt. Are you ready for it? I'm ready. Yeah. So this one is from Love Cartoons. And it says, Hi, Kurt. I love how you're called the rock star. Where did that nickname come from? Um, just naturally. Um, I used to have another nickname who was the Hellion, which was a contract word of Hell Lion. And it's a uh, it's, um, song from um, Iron Maiden, I think. And I was like, I don't really like it because, hello, Marty Jones. Thank you very much for joining us. <laughs> um, I, I was like, it's not really catchier. It's not really reflecting me myself. So I need to find something that people understand who I am in and outside of the ring when they hear it. And I'm like, the rock star, here we go. Uh, it's not really like original or what, but because I'm really proud of my roots as well, that's why I had mm -hmm. the Swiss. Boom, I'm the, the only Swiss rock star. So. <laughs> the Kurt, Kurt Rockstar Simmons. Uh, <laughs> next question is from Ricardo M. F. Gonçalves. Uh, I'm gonna say it in Portuguese first because he asked in Portuguese and then in English for you. Okay. Como treina um wrestler no momento destes? How does a wrestler train in a time like this? Referring to the quarantine, of course. Excuse me, I was reading the chat. I'm <laughs> sorry, can you repeat the question? <laughs> uh, the question was, how does a wrestler train in a time like this? Referring, of course, to the quarantine. Um, well, for wrestling, they don't. Except if they live with somebody who wrestles as well, you can do a little bit of chain wrestling, but it's not my case. So proper wrestling, not at the time. Uh, but training itself, uh, Workout is really important and you can work on that. You can work with or without material. It's pretty easy to find on the internet some great workout just body weight, just to stay in shape. Be careful of your, uh, of your food because when you stay at home, you're bored, you want to eat anything. So, so far I'm doing okay. <laughs> and uh, yeah, just trying to work on everything that is not wrestling. I can work on, on a promo. I can work uh, on uh, design and graphic stuff for, for later on. I can uh, stay in touch with other people and plan for really far away future events or just check on friends, just staying busy. But yeah, training, it's more workout. And wrestling-wise, I just study a lot of tapes from, as always, I always do, but I, I study wrestling from any time period. So I have got a lot of time now and there is a lot of good things on the internet. So I just study and work out. Do you keep a regular uh, workout, like every day, or? In theory, yes, I wish. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I practice not as often as I should, but mm -hmm. I'm doing okay. Hello, Scott, good to see you in the chat. Um, <laughs> I'm doing my best. Uh, I've got a little bit uh, of, of material. I've got a kettlebell and dumbbell, barbell. So I'm doing a, li a little bit of, of, every, of everything. So it's really basics. It's not much, but it's better than nothing. Yeah. And it's healthy as well. Oh, yeah, yeah. of course. It, because, and for the mind as well, just staying mm -hmm. at home and uh, uh, just doing nothing is not really good for, for the mind. Uh, a wrestler are, are people who love the contact, so you have to keep yourself entertained. And luckily, I'm someone who, uh, who is... Um, really patient like if i when i have to stay at the airport when i have to wait for someone to pick me up you just get used to just pass time i've got a plenty of, of uh, podcasts to listen stuff to watch so uh, it's not a problem for me i just go slower than usual and mm -hmm. pass my time yeah uh so next question is from marcio and he asks, when are you wrestling in Portugal again? It depends on the big bad boy of the moment. So as soon as the next show is on, uh, that's where you can find me. Uh, <laughs> the best find me um, in Portugal at the moment is the DVDs. But <laughs> as always, um, I, I just want to come back, man. You know, I'm like, I just miss the great people, the, the great weather, the amazing food and 
it's like it's hard to be really long i i i lost a lot of booking uh i cannot tell all of them because some of them were not like announced yet but i was supposed to have a new country last yeah. month I lost and uh plenty in switzerland and some stuff around i'm like there is nothing I can do about it. So I should try to focus on positivity, stay in touch with the fans, keep them entertained on my story, try to post regularly and stuff like that. That's all I can do at the moment. Yeah, and your adventures from around the world that we said before, it's a great way to, to keep us entertained. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, I'm like, it, it's some stuff I usually tell to friends backstage and I'm like, I should share with the world because uh, it's funny and uh, I don't really care if they make fun of me. It's like, <laughs> yeah, it's usually to my expense and it's usually include alcohol, but not all of them, I promise. <laughs> not all of them. I, uh, I need to find stories without me getting wasted at the end of the night, but... <laughs> yeah, I, I enjoy it. I enjoy it. Uh, I enjoy watching your stories. I laugh. I have to admit, I laugh. Uh, Good. Listening That's to it. Right. <laughs> uh, look, Sputnik and... Uh, Sputnik asks, so Kurt, where wo were you nervous when you fought Mad Dog? Yes, yes. Uh, every time I wrestle somebody with way more experience than me, uh, it's always like, okay, I have to put on a good show. I have to do a good match. I know I can do it, but I have to. And this is the kind of match we're going to elevate me, make me better, make me look mm -hmm. better. And Mad Dog Max has a very particular style and is someone I truly and deeply respect. So I was like, Kurt, sorry for my language, but Kurt, you cannot fuck this up. So I was <laughs> like really focused and be, uh, every match usually I'm always like pacing back and forth, but I'm not stressed. I'm just like, okay, I know my stuff. It's going to be all right. This one I'm going to, uh, I was like, okay, let, we have to rock. And luckily the, the crowd was one of the loudest I ever rocked in, in front of. So, I make my entrance, I'm like, okay, it's going to be a good match. Because, you know, a good match is not on, only two great wrestlers and a great ref. It's a great crowd as well. Mm -hmm. So We have a match, great crowd. Yeah, and great ref. And yeah, that's why it was like almost easy. Because if you do an amazing performance, but the crowd don't care, it's going to feel like it's a bad match, even if it's not. But they were almost throwing chairs in the air just with my entrance. I'm like, guys, thank you very much, but let's start. <laughs> All right. And yeah, you, I recommend everybody to check this one out. It's, it's on International Incident 2 from mm -hmm. uh, last December. And the whole show was just a full killer, probably the, the best show I've ever been on. I already told it to, to my friends, but it's like, this is the best show I've ever been on. I've been doing this for 10 years, not to to kiss ass or whatever it's just the truth it's like every match was perfect the crowd was perfect the timing was awesome yeah and, it was uh, phenomenal it was phenomenal really so sometimes sometimes uh it's just click in a match but this whole show clicked and was mm -hmm. just smooth yeah it was great it was great uh vega asks your dream challenge in the future wow um Wrestle on a new continent, so that's open enough to make you imagine, if you know my resume, there is some place I haven't been to. Uh, wrestle, I don't really want to say a big name, but somebody mainstream, just to test myself. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, I don't know, win some gold um, outside of Switzerland, because it's a proof that I'm doing a good job for me. Mm -hmm and wrestling the USA is something I would love to because I'm like, it's a little bit of the cliche, but that's the wrestling I grew up with. And it's like, okay, I wrestled in Canada and it was amazing, but I still want to wrestle in USA just to be like I wrestled in, in America. Yeah, I bet you'll, you'll, you'll get there. Yeah, probably. But the thing is, I always keep a lot of um, targets and dreams. So I always rush after something and I'm not like, I'm done, empty-ended, I don't know what to do. I'm like, I always keep the next step and the next step. And if I achieve it, I'm like, okay, what's next now? Because uh, that's how you progress and you can better yourself as a performer and just as a person as well. Yeah. I'll bet you'll get there uh, sooner than you think. Yeah, I hope so. We'll yeah. see. But <laughs> just I'm going to keep doing my, my stuff. And so far, so good, as you say. Yeah. 
Uh, next question is from Lop Cartoons as well. Uh, and he asks, hope you're doing good. How expensive is it to invest in pro wrestling gear? It's depend if you want to look professional or not. <laughs> <laughs> good, good, yeah. good answer. Uh, uh, luckily for me, uh, I start uh, wrestling in something that was not pro wrestling gear, but it was looking all right. And it was solid. So it was okay for beginning. But I see a lot of people after three, four, five years, they still in, tra uh, in track suit and stuff like that. And I'm like, you pretend to be a professional uh, athlete but I don't believe you because you don't look like one. So it's expensive. There is many ways to have good gears for less money. So you just have to look around, always ask people. And um, in Europe, it's a little bit more expensive, but it's usually great quality. Uh, otherwise, mm -hmm. it's North America, Mexico. Uh, Japan is expensive, but they have amazing stuff as well. England has a lot of great, great uh, guys for gears. So. It just uh, it just depends uh, how much stuff you want to invest on yourself. But I think on the long term, it's going to pay. So for me, it's part of the job as well to look the part. It makes you look, go look good. Oh, yeah, definitely, definitely, yeah. <laughs> uh, next question is from Luca underscore alt. And he asks, what's your favorite match? What's your favorite match? Favorite match. Mm -hmm. If you mean favorite match of wrestling, um, there is many. Probably Michael's Jericho at WrestleMania. It's one of my favorite. Um, of course, Bret Hart Owen Hart as well. But if you mean um, favorite match I had, yeah, uh, there is ooh, there is a lot of them. Um, I would love to have a longer match, but the one I did against Leo Rossi uh, uh, at the convention in Lisboa mm -hmm. was amazing. The one with Matt, Matt Duck, Max, was probably one of my favorite ones. And there is many around, uh, some, some in Ireland, probably, just off the top of my head. Uh, I had a really fun match in Canada against my, my Irish buddy, uh, Darren, as well. It was really, really fun. But yeah, probably the most recent one. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> I mean, the, uh, the whole one are too old. I just don't remember, but and <laughs> I was not as good. So when I watch them back, because I've got some on my YouTube, I'm like, mm -hmm. ah, I'm really self-critical. So I'm like, okay, I'm gonna. I are you a perfectionist? A perfectionist? Yes and no. Uh, I'm a little bit lazy sometimes. But mm. I'm a perfectionist because I'm rarely happy with myself. And I'm like, sometimes I really have to be like, okay, uh, the boss is happy, the crowd is happy. If I'm not happy, it doesn't matter because they don't do that for me. But sometimes it's really hard because like, oh, I know I can do better. I should mm -hmm. have done better. This was a little bit out of place. Or this was not right timing. I'm like, it's, it's all right. It's all right. It's not the most important thing in the world. As long as you finish the match and you're safe, and the crowd is pleased, the rest is just you trying to get better, and that's a good mentality to have, I think. You have a great performance, so... Oh, and I, and I think, yeah, and you are, definitely. And I, I bet you'll get better and better and better. You're already, yeah. you're already a great wrestler, but with the, t with the time and the training, yeah, you'll get... The, the, more you, the more you wrestle different people and, and often, the, the better you get and uh, that just I just want more match in general I don't want anything in particular like oh I want to try this or that mm -hmm. just I, I want to to be original and entertaining yeah and you are <laughs> next one is from Tommy D and he asks what do you think of Portugal and what do you like the most about TTW oh, um, Portugal is an amazing place uh, it's a country I always wanted to visit, but I don't know why it just never happened. And my first time in Portugal was actually for CTW um, for my first show. And I was really surprised because I probably have the cliche to be like, oh, it's close to Spain. It should be quite similar, but there is many difference. Yeah. And it, wa it was 
pretty good to see some difference because I understand why Portuguese people don't really like when you say that because for <laughs> us it's like oh you're just like France and it's like not really we richer smaller we have four language and we way time here so it's there is some similarity but just because we speak the same language but with a different accent doesn't mean we're friends and it's the same mm -hmm. with Portugal and the thing I prefer uh, in City W it's probably the um, the team spirit everybody works together there is no BS if there is mm -hmm. a trouble sorted uh, everybody act uh, professional and uh, work really hard yeah. together and not against each other to build a great wrestling scene and the proof is you guys have a great wrestling scene in a country with no wrestling background so it's really heartwarming to see that thank you <laughs> thank you and i thank you as well uh from the whole crew and the wrestlers thank you <laughs> yeah, no problem i'm just doing my part you know and i wish more people uh were doing this in europe because if everybody works like that the the indie wrestling would be amazing in europe it's not always the case, but it's getting better. And I'm mm -hmm. just a positive guy. I'm like, I hope they see that a small country with no experience, so to speak, can build a great scene like that. That's mean yeah. if you have a base like Germany or England, you can do pretty much everything. Thank but you. Once it's oh. <laughs> so quarantine is good for my liver as well. I was <laughs> saying if that was beer instead of water. <laughs> no. No, not this time. Uh, I'm, I've got some beers, but usually with my brother for the barbecue, and I'm like, okay, I'm just staying at home. If I drink beer all day, I'm, I'm gonna look like shit when I'm back. So. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So next question is from Jean Bentoc, and what's your favorite band? Well, uh, favorite band. Uh... A few years ago, I would have said The Offsprings, but it's probably Billy Talent. Yeah, it's Billy Talent. It's a rock band from Canada, and they are really original. I love the voice of the guy, and they have great theme and lyrics. It's not always really happy, but it's something that really strikes me. And yeah, Billy Talent. They're really underrated in Europe, and they're really famous in Canada. So when I was in Calgary, I was like just listening to the radio, and they play play Billy Talent all the time and I'm like oh yeah because they from there so Billy Talent Bowling for Soup, Offerings, Five Finger Death Punch, I've got plenty of top 5 or 10 I usually switch around uh, Falling in Reverse depend of my mood I listen to many different type of, of uh, music yeah of course they rule I see them live twice I was really happy they played in Switzerland it was awesome I'll have to check it out Oh yeah, definitely. I can send you some 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 of their stuff if you want. Oh okay, thank you. It's <laughs> it's uh, it, it's supposed to be hard rock, but it's not like really heavy. So if you mm -hmm. don't really like heavy metal and stuff like that, it's really easy to listen to. As I say, uh, they sound different, and I like it because many stuff looks and sound the same nowadays. Yeah, I'll be waiting for for you to send it. Here you go. <laughs> So, uh, who's your favorite wrestler from Fanekas? That's a tough one as well. <laughs> there is millions <laughs> of wrestlers, so... Make it a, like a top three or four. Yeah, no particular order and no particular uh, time. Uh, Jericho, Michaels, Cesaro, Ziegler... Yeah, that's the the one who come uh, really fast on the top of my head. But Jerry Crow, uh, a lot of people say uh, I have some some stuff of him, so I usually take it as a compliment. Uh, I try to not copy because I don't want to be Jerry Crow 2.0. I want to be Kurt Simmons 1.0. But he's one of the best in the world ever. So you're gonna have to get inspired, inspired of course. So yeah, it's usually a compliment when people say, "Oh, you kind of have this or this guy or this guy." <laughs> um, the beast underscore asks which companies do you want to work for in the future including the major ones anyone who is willing to bet on me and and to trust my talents but 
I don't really have like, oh, I don't want to work for them or I don't want to work for them because uh, I have no no prior experience before, so I cannot judge only reputation and stuff like that. But everybody's got one. No, uh, nowadays, WWE has got a bad reputation because how oh, they manage business. Is it right? Is it wrong? It's not for me to tell. I've got my mm-hmm. opinion on it. Uh, I like uh, what NWA is doing. It's kind of old school, but not too much. There is some stuff I really love in AEW and some stuff I really don't really like. WWE, it's a mixed bag as well. Japan, I love the style. I love watching it, but I'm not sure I would fit in it because uh, mm. uh, I'm, I'm, it's not my type of wrestling to do, to watch. I love it, but I'm not a strong style, 50-minute match, stuff like that. I would love to, but I just can't at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> so no, I, I love to have a little bit of everything uh, I would love to wrestle more often in England because I love the style and there is a lot of work there you can wrestle mm-hmm. every day and I would love to discover new new places as well Spain, uh, Italy and other places around Europe I, I didn't wrestle for yet Holland and just to, to feel different type of crowd and different type of wrestling yeah and if you go there like different companies you can compare it like the the type of wrestling if there are any differences like from the show itself like the montage yes. yeah uh so melanie asks what's your favorite female wrestler in europe it's been a long time i haven't been around uh around female wrestler on, on shows be, besides ctw but um I like what, um, I'm not sure how often she wrestled, but I like Camille Grignon. The, uh, it's a French girl, and she's really good. And uh, pretty much every female out of UK is usually tremendous. So I don't really have a favorite because I don't like pick favorite, but I usually mm-hmm. keep an eye on more people than people expect. It's like, oh, you know this person, you know this person. It's like, I've been doing this for 10 years. I don't I didn't met everybody, but I know someone who knows someone. So uh, <laughs> I I've, I've seen names when they come around and it's like, okay, she's probably really busy. Okay, he's starting to get some traction and stuff like that. So it's just interesting to see where they're going with their career. And yeah, just mm-hmm. the the big French name is usually the one who goes around in Europe. Amal, Camille, uh, Germany, uh, every every lady in Germany as well. Swiss German we and south of. Germany, we have a lot of great ladies as well. I think about uh, Nikki Fox, a friend of mine. Uh, she she's starting to get some traction. She's the current uh, champion in Switzerland, and and ladies like that just w- willing to to do a lot and usually as good or even better than the boys, just because they they have a chip on their shoulders. Like just because I'm a girl, I shouldn't be treated under. And I'm like, oh, that's that's right. And they usually put on killer match. So I mean. Many of the best match in CTW is usually include Claudia, so it's like just a testament to how good. Now you said it. Now yeah. you said it. <laughs> uh, look, Claudia is one of the best one, but I, I, I didn't even mention her first because she's like ab- above. She's above, and I want to see her wrestle all the female in Europe because it's gonna be a killer match all the time. And she's Same. Be really good. Your words, I make it mine now. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, look, Jay Wigmore says, Kurt, you're the GOAT. Oh, thank you, Jay. Uh, <laughs> great great friend from, from England, and I hope to see you soon, and I hope you, see you and your family is safe. And Nuno Suarez asks, who in the current NWA roster would you love to fight? Wow. Um, in current NWA, I would love, first of all, to have a... Uh, Promo seminar with Eddie Kingston because he's the best, and just to see Nelson freak out as well because I know you love him. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, in the current, um, you always go for the top of the mountain, so I would love to see say Nick Aldis. Uh, am I his level? Definitely not. He's fucking amazing. But somebody who probably don't you don't think about is um. Oh, his, his name just missed me now. It's Curtis. No, not Curtis Mitsu. Uh, uh, there is there is a guy uh, in NWA. He's not there often, but he's got mm-hmm. a slightly different style, and I love the way he wrestles. I would love to have a match against him. 
of course I forget his name now, but pretty much okay. everyone because I, I love the style. I mean, I could have a, a great match against a big guy like Tim Storm. I could have a a great match against a really fast guy, and just because I, I'm willing to try every type of wrestling to see what kind of story we can tell. Yeah. <laughs> oh, speaking of Nelson, I, he asks fondue or poutine. Be honest. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, that, that's a good one. That's a good one. Um, I would like. I would love to say fondue, but I actually prefer raclette. And he's gonna understand this one. Poutine is amazing, but it's too much. It's a little bit too much fulfilling for me. So as much as I love my Canadian brothers, I'm ha I have to go with the Swiss one. So fondue. Ah. <laughs> uh... The next question is from Gaming Bruno, and he asks, "How was it training with Lance Storm?" Amazing! It was, it was um, truly life changing, because the way uh, is uh, Lance Storm is two things. First of all, is uh, honest, frank. He's not gonna tell you bullshit. If something is really bad he's gonna tell you right away and second of all is patient and that's probably the two best quality you can ask for a trainer mm -hmm. luckily I was the one with the most experience in my class but i had a lot of bad habits to get rid of and he really took the time and the way he explained it really clicked with me to always keep it um really simple efficient and safe and it was It was an experience of a lifetime, and I'm I'm really sad he don't have this school anymore because I would. Caleb Conley, here you go. Yes, exactly. Thank you. <laughs> yes, this guy. I love the way he wrestled. Anyway, back <laughs> to the storm. Sorry, <laughs> Lance Storm yeah. is, a, is an amazing teacher, and it's no surprise that he was able to do that for almost 15 years. If you're gonna be that good, you're just gonna have somebody to train all the time. And yeah. it's something I wish I did earlier in my career. I took too long before going to him, but better late than ever. So it's an, it, it was a great experience as well. Uh, next question is from Shadow122. And he asks, do you have any ritual before a match? Strangely, no. Uh, I see a lot of wrestlers usually do the same three move of the same prior, uh, they pray or they do something. I never took a habit to do something. I, in particular, I usually just pace back and forth and I sip uh, water a lot because I know I'm going to be really dry by the, by the time I go to the ring. Yeah. That's about it. I, I just think in the back of my head, I think about my match and I'm like, okay, let's stay safe. Let's keep our opponent safe and let's entertain the crowd. That's the three one in that order. But that's about it. Yes, actually, I usually try to always, sometimes I miss, but always shake the hand of my opponent and say, mm -hmm. stay safe, have fun in that order. I don't know why, just easy and it resume everything I want to say. And I try to always say that to the one who wrestled before me as well. I sometimes miss them, but I try all the time to just stay safe, have fun before them. Yeah, that's that's good. Yeah, that's awesome. Uh, so, next question is from Brian Locks HS, and he asks: Any specific wrestlers you would really want to work with? Oh, uh, <clears throat> in the world or just <laughs> a particular region? Please, please just uh, tell us when you put that kind of question in the world um, just because many people compare us and it's a true honor to be compared in the way he sells and stuff like that uh, Dolph Ziggler mm -hmm. I just hope I had his cardio because uh, we could have a really long cool match uh, Austin Harris has an interesting um, type of wrestling as well and uh, in Europe I have, uh, I have some friends I haven't not wrestled and I want to Some friends I want to wrestle again because it's been a long time or I know I can do better or longer or I just want another one because it was so much fun. But not really in particular. I'm, I'm willing to try 
and everybody want to have a go, as you said. Hmm. Um, Jose Mendes asks, how's wrestling in Switzerland? And is it, ar is it hard to make a living as a wrestler in your country? Yes. <laughs> Uh, wrestling in Switzerland, uh, it's the same or maybe a little bit smaller than Portugal because we don't have uh, the culture of wrestling like France or Germany or England. Mm -hmm. And uh, people are usually intrigued and they're intrigued but not really curious. It's a country with a lot of old people, so they're usually like old school, like, no, it's this or this, that. They, they know what they like, and they, they don't want to try something new. The new generation is a little bit better, but sometimes it's like, hey, do you want to support uh, local stuff? Like, yeah, sure, uh, wrestling, okay, and uh, this is the price for the entrance. Ah, oh, no, I don't want to pay. Like, it's just like your local band. Yeah. If you want to enjoy something, but for free, we not we cannot give you something again so it, it's hard uh it's almost impossible in switzerland to make a living out of it so that's why i travel so much but mm -hmm. it started better i've seen in the past 10 years in switzerland we we've come from oh we know this is fake bullshit to wow this is really cool i don't watch mm -hmm. on tv but i like uh, i love to see you live we come next month okay so they yeah. just love the local product and they we usually don't compare us too much to American stuff, which is nice because we just want to have our own flavor. Yeah. Um, next question is from Fabio Caia, and he asks, how would you describe your wrestling style? Simple. <laughs> <laughs> I would say entertaining because I'm not a high flyer. I'm all right, but I'm not the greatest by far technician. I strike, but I'm not a brawler. I don't do hardcore stuff, and I'm not the big, biggest meanie outside or whatever. So uh, um, a mix, I would say. Um, but if you really want to have the, the, the tag, I usually go with, um, I would love to say technician, but I have to say storyteller. That's the best way to put it. Because I use a little bit of everything to tell a story. Uh. The next one is where do you see yourself in five years? Well, when I when I realized when I was five years ago and where I am now, I just it's really hard to imagine myself in five years. Um, mm -hmm. I hope two or three new country and federation. I hope some gold uh, somewhere for whatever length. A new continent would be amazing, and uh, just more dates to. to to make more money that's what i do now so <laughs> I, I would love to have uh, more traction on social media not even like uh, merch money or whatever but just like i want to expand my instagram because i think i i take a lot of time to put good picture on it so i don't post often but i always put a lot of effort to have a, a picture i, I like, truly like on it mm -hmm. uh, my page my twitter not so much because i realize it's not i don't tweet enough to like, just <laughs> visibility because i think i've got a lot to give and sometimes i'm a little bit under the radar because i'm like i don't have like oh you don't have that many followers so we're gonna pick the other guy i'm like okay i understand and that's why i have to work on it so yeah i just hope uh always resting always healthy and uh, always not too far from any of you guys pretty much <laughs> oh you won't. and uh, 15 more kilos of muscle that's why i want it Years to you guys. Yeah, you're getting big. You're getting big. No, it's like a uh, good angle, lightning, and I can pretend anyway. So <laughs> nah. I'm just working. I'm just working hard. Maybe not as hard as I could, but I'm doing my best. Sometimes the and you'll get there. Not, but it's regularly, and when I see, as you say, myself five years ago, and I see now, I'm like day and night. So I'm really hopeful and happy for the future. <laughs> Uh, Salsa Dragon Force asks, what do you want to go after first? The CTW Championship or the European Championship? Oh, that's a good one. <laughs> that's a really good one. I would love to say it depends who held the gold, but not <laughs> really. <laughs> not really, because I would love to 
to win a championship, it's going to be a, a big milestone in my career to win something in CTW. But you, you need to understand that I'm here for a long time, so it's going to happen one day or another. Which one? I don't know. We'll see who's getting on my way first. Um, I already tried. It was an untitled match, but I already tried Leo Rossi in a ring. And boy, I still have some work to do. So <laughs> he's not champ for, for nothing. He's got his own way to do stuff, but still he, he's a great champion. So it would the, be truly... Mad Dog has the championship now, has the title now. Yeah, but what I mean is Leo Rossi has got it for so long. He, yeah, yeah, he, yeah. I understand, yeah. And uh, I'm just uh, really excited to see what's going to happen uh, when we can go back to business. Oh, I want to see that. Question, I just don't really uh, aim for one title in particular. I'm just like, oh, I want this belt or I want this belt. I'm just like, if I can beat a champion and become a champion, it's going to be a great honor. So Yeah. Let's... Oh, great answer. Very certain. It, it's 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 vague enough to. I'm just willing to to take the challenge, so we'll see where yeah. where the road will be. So the last question uh, is from Melanie, and she asks, beer or coke? I guess, and I hope she means the drinks. Yeah, um, yeah, the drink. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you never know when you ask a rock star. Um, it really depends of the context. I mean, it's actually plus one hour here in Switzerland. So it's almost midnight. I'm not going to have a drink and I'm not going to have a Coke because I don't have too much caffeine and sugar. People mm -hmm. are usually surprised. I don't drink soda that much. I usually try to avoid sugar. It's too easy to drink too many of them. So beer is healthy in moderate amount. Okay. <laughs> so I don't know. Usually like after a show, if you've seen me, you know I have a cold beer because that's the best feeling ever. But usually in my everyday life, I stick with tea and uh, water and coffee in the morning. And that's about it. I keep it simple because it's way easy to drink too many calories and mm -hmm. it will balance every, every effort you do. You like you work out like a madman, you eat clean and you're like, I want something sugar and you drink two liters of Coke and your day is ruined. So yeah. I so to me to Daryl and I just had some <laughs> question. Yeah, yeah. Like, I've seen Cesaro, I'm happy, and Zlack is amazing. So, one of my favorites. So, tea or coffee? I used to say tea, but I'm getting older now, and I love some coffee in the morning. Not every day, but I don't know. It really depends on the context. I At the moment, I would say tea. Black tea or gray, green tea, just simple one. Mm. I don't like tea very much. I spent I'm a coffee two, uh, person. I'm in England and I live there for three months, so you have to learn to love tea because it's like it's <laughs> this or you don't drink. I'm like, okay. So <laughs> you arrive at, I'm at her house and they're like, oh, I made you tea. It's like, okay, you cannot really say no. It's, it's yeah, yeah. Time yeah. To, to enjoy it. <laughs> I, drink, really I, drink tea. I drink tea, but not that much. Like when I feel a little bit sick or with a cold yeah but i'm a, a coffee person definitely so. all right i know you love your coffee you, you spend too much time with da uh, with david that's why but <laughs> yeah yeah definitely and so, the thing is for someone who has uh, who live close to italy i don't really like strong coffee that much i when i uh, i want something special i usually go for the american style coffee so really big no mm -hmm. taste, too much sugar. It's just <laughs> I like the taste. I don't, I don't, I don't drink coffee for the effect. It doesn't um, wake me up a lot. I just like the the taste. So yeah. I usually take Americano. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Everybody is agree. Finally, both in the chat. Yeah, just pick your poison. They're both good for your health if you don't drink too many of that, too much of them. So just stay uh, hydrated. That's the most important. Yeah. So thank you very much, Kurt, for being here with us. Uh, thank you very much for having me. Yeah, I enjoyed it a lot. And I bet uh, our viewers enjoyed it as well. Yeah, I hope so as well. Yeah, uh, this live, this live Q&A be, will be on YouTube. So awesome. if you missed it, 
please go there and watch it. Uh, pass by uh, ctwportugal.com, buy the towels, the DVDs, uh, and the t-shirts, make your orders. Uh, in Portugal, it's free shipping. There are great matches, great shows. You can see, you can watch Kurt Simmons there, as long as the rest of the, the CTW uh, roster uh, pass by the, the wrestlers uh, social media as well and support them buying their merch including of course Kurt Simmons merch <laughs> really uh, easy to find yeah <laughs> and, on uh, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter just follow me everywhere yeah. uh, my DMs are open if you want to chat uh, I hope to see you all very soon I hope that you are all safe and uh, yeah, keep supporting great wrestling because there is many of them. So yeah. there's plenty of good wrestling if you look for it. Pessoal, passem ctwportugal.com, passam uh, as vossas yeah. encomendas, os DVDs, dos matches, uh, tem lá ótimo conteúdo. Façam encomendas das t-shirts, das toalhas, tanto em preto como em branco. Passem também nas redes sociais dos nossos lutadores, tal como a do Kurt Simmons, e comprem as merch. A uh, merch, aliás. <laughs> e apoiem o wrestling nacional e o wrestling independente. Next live Q&A will be on Friday, not this one, but the next one, uh, 9th of May, 9th of May, <laughs> with Matt Fox. Uh, so please stay tuned. It's Saturday, sorry, it's Saturday. Uh, and please stay safe, everyone, and thank you so much. O próximo live vai ser dia 9 de maio, às 9 horas, com o Matt Fox. Uh, por favor, estejam atentos e façam as vossas perguntas. Thank you very much, Kurt. As always, thank you for tagging along. Stay safe and as always, stay rock and roll. <laughs> Bye, Kurt. Thank you very much.